At InEngine, we believe that the future of transportation belongs to those who manage to merge the best of electric and internal combustion solutions in a single platform, in what we know as electric vehicles with range extender. The perfect engine for such vehicle must have three main qualities. It has to be light and small, in order to accommodate the extra motor and batteries. It has to be silent and run smoothly, so that passenger experience is not disturbed when it goes on and off. And most importantly, it has to be efficient in order to increase autonomy while remaining clean. Quite a challenge, isn't it? And one that up to now had not been solved, forcing car manufacturers to compromise by choosing between a traditional two-stroke or four-stroke engine configuration, which had not been specifically designed to work as range extenders. At InEngine, we have been working for over a decade now in research and development to solve this puzzle, and the result is worth the wait. Introducing the E-Rex, the first one-stroke engine designed from scratch for range extender applications. And yes, you heard right, the E-Rex is neither a two-stroke nor a four-stroke, but a one-stroke engine instead because it has one power stroke per cylinder every half rev, which makes the E-Rex the most power dense engine out there. So, let's have a quick look first at the all options, being either a two-stroke or four-stroke configuration. Having one power stroke every revolution, two-stroke engines are compact and can deliver high power from a relatively simple system. On the downside, the fact that the exhaust port closes after the intake one results in some unburned fuel leaking out to the atmosphere, which together with their characteristic lubrication oil burning, creates many issues making it impossible for traditional two-stroke engines to be highly efficient and clean. Four-stroke engines, on the other hand, are more efficient and less pollutant than two-stroke ones, but this extra efficiency comes at a cost. The fact that four-stroke engines have half the power strokes than two-stroke ones added to the valve train and distribution system makes four-stroke engines more complex, larger, and with higher levels of noise and vibration than two-stroke ones. All three unwanted characteristics in an ideal extended range size. Modern two-stroke post-piston engines don't have the oil and fuel leak issues their traditional counterparts do, and have proven to be more efficient and less pollutant than four-stroke ones thanks to a combustion chamber with less heat loss and uniflow scavenging, resulting in lower consumption and lower NOx and CO2 emissions. Then again, having two crankshafts makes these engines not only more complex, but also large and heavy. Good for trucks and boats, but terrible for extended range applications. Having these only options meant manufacturers had to accept a compromise when confronted with the challenges of incorporating both an electric motor and a combustion engine on a single platform. The question is therefore, how could we have the capacity of a traditional two-stroke engine with the efficiency of a four-stroke or post-piston one? The answer is… The new E-Rex. The E-Rex is a one-stroke engine designed from scratch with a range extender mindset, meaning it's simple and compact, yet efficient and clean, and with a perfectly balanced mass, offers the smoothest of operations with zero vibrations. Having one power stroke every half rev means a one-stroke engine is twice as powerful as a two-stroke and four times more than a four-stroke, allowing the E-Rex to be the smallest engine yet. And just so you can appreciate how small it is, this one-stroke engine right here, in terms of power output, is the equivalent to a 2000cc four-stroke engine. In other words, you can have the power and efficiency of a state-of-the-art four-stroke 2000cc engine in less than 40 centimeters in length and only 35 kilograms. And the advantages don't end there. The thing that sets the one-stroke engine in a completely different league is the fact that it has, at its core, a revolutionary feature that the main car manufacturers have been attempting for decades now. The Variable Compression Ratio System. To do justice to the magnitude of this breakthrough would take an entire new video, so let me just show you how simply beautiful it is. At the core of the one-stroke engine, there's a pinion shaft whose axial position is controlled in real time by the ECU, offsetting angularly the cam tracks and thus modifying the compression ratio on demand. And just like that, you have the best of two engines in one. Low compression ratios when you need extra power, and higher ones when you look for maximum efficiency. Simple. Okay, tired of listening to advantages yet? Don't hear then, but just look at this last one. A perfect mass balance at all times means that the linear movement of the pistons does not need to be compensated, they cancel one another. Result? 
zero vibration. So the one-stroke engine is not like a two-stroke or a four-stroke, not even like any other post-piston engine out there, but it takes the best of these three configurations and brings them together in the simplest, smaller and most efficient engine yet, which when added to the absence of vibration makes the E-Rex the true range extender.